Hi Great Dramas, Greg from Great Drams here, hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to have a very, very swift review of Lefroy 10 year old, uh, one of my all time favourite whiskies. Lefroy itself is actually 201 years old now. The uh, 10 year old release itself was actually the whisky that convinced me whisky was a good idea back in the day. And as strange as it sounds, being how powerful and heated and, and heavy it can be, especially when you're getting into whiskey, that is the one that told me that there's something much more magical here about this drink, about the whole notion of whiskey that I needed to explore further and that started the quest to where I am today with great drams and working with some of the best people in the whiskey industry. It wasn't easy though. It actually took a very good friend of mine, Ant Dog, or Anthony, uh, to about three, four times of putting a Lefroy 10 quite literally under my nose and saying, drink it, uh, repeatedly, and eventually the words, man up, to try the thing, get used to it, see what happened, and eventually accept it, in order that A, I enjoyed the whiskey itself, but B, he stopped forcing this stuff upon me. So, once it's in the actual glass, and you've let it breathe, maybe just for a couple of minutes, as I have here, just nose that guy, take it in from about 20 centimeters from your nose, right up to the base of the bridge of your nose. Take it in, you get lots of raw, almost hay-like uh, qualities, very, uh, very medicinal. People always say TCP when they think of Lefroy, and it's actually one of the uh, props in their tasting room at their distillery now, a bottle of TCP, people have said it that much. You're almost getting the embers of a bonfire. You're getting that really raw smokiness underneath it. And it kind of just rounds off this stunning, uh, kind of lively, grassy hay note that you get on the nose. And the more you take it, for, especially for a 40% whiskey, the more you take it in, the more it's just kind of tingling the nostrils, making you realize that, oh, there's a whiskey here and it's a powerful one, let's just get used to it, then I'll dive in and enjoy it. Take another nose of it. Now you're about to see that that develops into having just a slight sweet note to it. Not much, but just a little bit. Now we're ready for our first sip. So as I did there, Take a sip, swish it around your mouth, don't labour too long with it. You're just waking your senses up, waking your mouth up, waking your tongue up, most importantly, then swallow, then let's do it again. So all of those notes that we had on the nose, especially the grassiness and the, the, kind of the really, really rich peat smoke, should be amped up now, all over your tongue, in your throat, and they should be saying, hello, we've got an absolute beast on our hands here, but a gentle beast, as it finishes with a nice smooth finish, very little uh, burn or heat on the finish, it's nice and warming, lingers here for probably about a mid-length, and you're still getting that rich peat note, just in your throat, in your mouth, almost on your breath. For me, this is an absolute knockout whiskey, as I've said before. Stunning, absolutely stunning. And it's amazing how many people in the whiskey industry actually credit this whiskey as one of the first, if not the first, that they fell in love with um, back in the day before they were actually in the industry, or led them to where they are now. And those for me has developed after we've tasted it into having even more of a, a rich, uh, Kind of like salted caramel note in the middle of it that just kind of encapsulates that whole peat aroma that we've been experiencing for the last couple of minutes. I hope you all enjoy Lefroy and enjoy the Lefroy 10 year old. Do me a favour and send me your notes either in the comments to this video down below or send over a tweet, Facebook, email, Instagram, whatever of you enjoying your Lefroy 10. Thanks for watching, see you soon.